Heidi ho YouTube neighbors. I bet y'all thought that you'd gotten rid of me, didn't you? It's been about six months since my last video. Well, I'm still alive. I'm still around. Uh, been piddling a little bit, but mostly I've had a lot of distractions and uh, things going on. Haven't had much time for doing videos. My bench time has been sparse and in between, um, but things are getting back on track. Uh, some of it, my wife had some health issues and I had to devote a lot of time taking care of her and things around the house. We're getting at that age, you know, it was years ago, decades ago, we had to child proof the house. Now I'm elderly proofing my house and, uh, cause it's getting to where we're going to have to have some things like ramps and grab bars and stuff like that. So that's been other things, projects on top of projects I already had, but it looks like things are getting caught up a little bit now. So I'm back. What have I been doing? Well, let's see. Earl, he's been getting into trouble. Uh, he got into the acorn shine a little heavy and, uh, Got caught messing with the neighbor's chickens and their crack corn. Uh, ended up passed out on a pallet of crack corn at the feed store. Got arrested. He's now had to go through rehab and he's now on probation. He is wearing an ankle monitor now. Uh, so he has to be on his best behavior. So I got to keep an eye on that guy. Other than that, I've been playing around with some other stuff. Uh, let's see some of the things I was working on. I don't know if y'all remember my Corvette Roadster pickup that I had started. Yeah, I haven't gotten a lot long way with that. Um, I did get the bed pretty much roughed in, fit in. Um, just, you know, got to do the finish up on it, actually get it attached in there. Came up with problems with the chassis. And once that's in there for the rear back here. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do something else with the chassis here probably might have to do a whole new rear chassis we'll see might even do an independent rear end in this instead of the axe regular differential so we'll have to see how that goes uh, started another one I took uh, 55 Corvette kit this one's a 53 well, I mean they're the same 53 4 and 5 um, Started getting this body. I'm probably going to open up these wheel welds. I'm building a gasser out of this. Um, I printed 3D printed uh, these springs. And what do we got here? Okay. All right, back on track. Uh, 3D printed some gasser springs. Modified the chassis up here a little bit as you can see From this chassis. I removed these upper control arms I removed those sanded that out. So all there is is the tower for the control arms now So 3d printed those 3d printed an axle straight axle for it It's got lightning holes in it. This actually even Well, if you want to you can make it turn steer um, this is printed the axle drag link um, the spindles are separate Let's see the, those and little uh, kingpins let me get a hold of these little suckers here we go these little kingpins for the spindles get into the spindle I don't know yeah I know that was real informative um, yeah, here's another set of the, these are the springs, how they print. You got your pads, so you can kind of put them on any frame. Uh, I also printed some tires and wheels. These are like some Raider style wheels and slicks. Um, I printed these. These are the Blue Streak AMT slicks, and I made the wheels to fit these AMT vinyl rubber wheels um, they're the same diameter of course the printed wheel is wider or printed tire is wider I do like the look of this I like the deeper dish um, I may use this wider it might not be 
you know, correct for the class, but they will look nice. Um, this would be more correct for what it should be on it. Um, and then the front, the 10 spoke wheels and these are spindle mount. These actually came out pretty nice. The tires, I don't know if you can see the, there is some groove in there, but they do fit. If you get the AMT gasser, or, uh, drag gasser wheels, these tires are the same diameter as what these printed out. So then I can actually put the wheels in these rubber wheels in that pack. And those are the same. Those are the blue streak uh, slicks as well. Um, so I got those I printed. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I'm printing engines. I've been I've been 3D printing. Let me warn you: if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer, a resin 3D printer, um, yeah, I I don't know if I would recommend it. Um, if you do, um, it is a tool of the devil. It will possess your soul, and um, you will have forever be an agent for evil. Um, the it is totally distracted me from a lot of things. Um, it's like I printed this 409 engine, uh, the transmission and bell housings. Print those all separate. You see those. Um, so I'm putting this engine together. It's uh, got a blower. Well, there's a baggie of parts for that here somewhere. Yeah, here's all the other parts for it. Also has some uh, fender well headers. So hopefully maybe those will work in this build. I don't know. I'll have to see how that goes. If not, I do have these uh, straight backs that will also work. Now oh, that one's broke. I have to print another one or pull another one out of the stash that I printed. Actually, I might be able to repair that. Uh, what else is there? Lots of 3D printing. I'm gonna have. I'm probably gonna do a video on 3D printing stuff, different things I've come across and what I've been doing. Um, and that's kind of what I've been up to, playing around with some other builds here. That station wagon, I, I messed around with that just a little bit. Um, so I got some work done on that. And yeah, it's mostly just been that. I mean, I'm trying to stay in the groove, but I think I'm going back at it here again. Um, I started building this. Let me see if I can swing this around here a little bit so you can see over there. There it is. That's my uh, storage thing I started building for my 3D printed parts and pieces. All kinds of engines and tires and wheels and transmissions and miscellaneous parts, batteries and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I'm going to put one more row across the top. That'll be six more. I buy those. Those are four by fours or three inch by three or four by inch, four by four inch um, little storage things. I buy them at uh, Harbor Freight. They're usually like three bucks a piece. So when I got like an extra 20 and I'm by there, I stop and pick up six at a time. I think I'm going to put one more row across the top. And it'll probably be big enough. So, let's get back over here. There we go. Anyway, I guess that's it. I should probably cut this short. And can't think of anything else. I know I've got plans for some other videos. Uh, I've done some my projects on my house. Got some new projects. I pushed some old projects back. Um, you know, having to build a ramp. I got to redo my whole front porch with a ramp. I got a temporary one built now for the back. Um, but I ended up. I got to redo the whole outside of my house anyway. It's been neglected for at least 20 years. Things have been let go, so it's time to get the outside looking good again. Um, so that's part of the projects I've been doing. I built a thing off the front of the house, so I'll do a video on that. And uh, so you can kind of see that. It's not model related, but you know some of y'all might find it interesting. Um, I guess that's it for now. So, yeah, everything's fine. I hope everyone else has been good. I, I haven't had much. I've only caught a few videos here and there. Um, I haven't been being able to keep up with everybody. And I missed Acme this year. Of course, I couldn't leave my wife home alone for three days. So I had to cancel that. But 
next year I'll be there um, unless something horrible happens again but yeah next year plan on being at Jack's Con uh, here in what is it February so yeah I got all those plans if I'm gonna have anything new I better get something done for Jack's Con but uh, we'll see Skip's got to get busy he's got things he can finish here he just needs to do them <clears throat> all right well thanks for stopping by and hope everyone's doing great and hopefully I'll get caught up with some of you guys on what you're doing and until then we'll catch y'all later see ya Bye.